Easy loans, prize money, a romantic lover, all at the touch of a button, seems too good to be true. As we spend ever more time managing our affairs from our phones and laptops, from buying property to paying taxes with just a click of a button, we have also become more vulnerable to losing our hard-earned assets the same way. Between 2016 and the first half of 2021, victims in Singapore have lost nearly $1 billion to scams. And the amount lost each year just keeps getting bigger and bigger, from $89 million in 2016 to more than $260 million in 2020. In the first half of 2021, victims have lost almost $170 million to just the top 10 most common scams alone. And the ways scammers are trapping victims are constantly evolving. The latest danger is job scams. I'm Chow Suan, and today on ST Explains News You Can Use, I'll be bringing you through what some of these job scams could look like and how you can avoid falling prey to them. Job scams have become a key concern for the Anti-Scam Centre, with five dominant variants having appeared since the second half of 2021. The first variant is the fake mobile app. Victims are told to download fake mobile applications to accept jobs using the app. Once they create an account, they are told to transfer funds to bank accounts or cryptocurrency wallets. They are promised a commission for doing so. Variant number two, the warning letter. A spin-off of variant one, warning letters are sent to victims via WhatsApp and they are pressured into making further transfers into bank accounts or cryptocurrency wallets. The letters threaten that should victims choose to discontinue the job, their mobile application accounts will be frozen and legal action will be taken against them. Some scammers have even used the emblems of the Singapore Police Force and the Supreme Court on those threatening letters. Variant number three, the easy part-time job. Commissions are dangled and victims are told all they have to do to earn them are easy tasks such as liking social media posts. They are led to websites where they are enticed to sign up for packages for these jobs, with the amount of commission they are paid depending on the package they pay for. They are then told to transfer money to bank accounts of unknown individuals before they can start the job. Variant number four, movie tickets. Scammers convince victims that they can earn a quick buck by buying and selling movie tickets through an app. Victims will have to top up their app accounts and make payment to bank accounts provided by scammers. And variant number five, Shopee Pay. Using a fake mobile app that is unrelated to e-commerce platform Shopee, victims can place orders. They are instructed to deposit funds into their Shopee Pay account by buying cryptocurrency and transferring it to other cryptocurrency wallets. The fake mobile app would then reflect that funds are available for victims to make payments for items in their carts. They are promised a commission for completing these orders. With most of us constantly on our phones or online these days, it's becoming increasingly difficult to avoid coming across one or more of these scams. But with some vigilance, we can avoid falling prey to them. Here are some simple tips developed by the Home Team Behavioral Sciences. The six S's to avoid getting scammed. Number one, spot the signs. Recognize the tactics that scammers are using. Number two, stop and think. Ask yourselves and others if a statement, a job offer or a message could be true. Number three, slow down, don't rush. Don't rush into providing your personal or banking details. Number four, speak to others. Check with others to verify the authenticity of a claim before doing anything. Number five, safeguard personal details and passwords. Never disclose personal information, even if the request appears legitimate. And number six, seek help. Talk to friends and family members should you be impacted by a scam. And with scams becoming more and more common, anyone can get scammed. So vigilance is key. Thank you for watching ST Explains, where we bring you news you can use. I'm Suan. Till next time, stay safe.